In this video, I'm gonna be showing how to put the connector on the end of RG6 coax cable. Some of the things you're gonna need is obviously some coax cable. You're gonna need your compression connector for this style. Uh, not to be confused with the crimp style. With the crimp style, you're actually using a tool to crimp and squeeze it from the sides to hold it on. This style, you're actually using a compression tool and compress it on and uh, be showing you how to do that. So you're gonna need your uh, compression connector, you're gonna need some RG6 coax, you're gonna need a stripper, you're gonna need a cutter. I found it handy to have a razor blade. And last but not least, your compressor, your compress crimp tool, your compressor tool. All right, let's get started. Now on my particular stripper, it had a stop in it that allowed you to cut off about a quarter inch and it'll perfectly fit into some connectors that was not these because this wouldn't fit. So what I had to do was I had to break the stop off actually and uh, so I could use it the way I needed to use it. So I like to take about an inch and a half off and then I can cut the excess off later. So. This part actually has two blades in it. One cuts off the shielding, this outer jacket part, and then the other one cuts off the uh, inner, the inner insulation. So, all right, I'm gonna take about an inch and a half, maybe two inches off. And I have to make sure it's actually making both cuts. I think this thing would be a little bit more spring loaded and uh, we'll be able to clamp down hard enough on its own. But does not always seem to be the case. All right, looks like it's made both cuts. Go ahead and get that pulled off there. Now on my particular cable that I have here, this inner shielding insulation, it seems to be glued to the copper. Yours may not be like this. So see this white part? It doesn't want to go anywhere on its own. I found out that I have to, have to cut it off. So I'm go ahead and make that cut. So at the base here, there's kind of like this braided wires that's coming out here. And some people say just cut this off, no problem. Other people are saying this is shielding, you need it. Just fold it back, don't cut it. So I found folding it back is, is just fine. It's time to put the compression fitting on. You're gonna wanna slide this you're gonna to wanna to slide this fitting all the way to the point where the white insulated part is coming up to the edge of the hole. Now that I've got this here, I'm gonna cut this um, extra wire almost flush, but I like to leave just maybe an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch out uh, further than where this connector actually ends. But it could, it could actually probably be flush, no problem. But I like to leave just a hair out. I don't know why. It just seems like it should be. All right. So now at this point, you can place this uh, wire into your, um, your compressor. We're going to watch this actually push up, and it's going to compress this down. Go ahead and squeeze. All right. And it compressed it. 
You may be able to see it's, uh, it looks a little shorter now. We'll get the original one. All right. So you can see this one has not been compressed and this one has been. They're, they are different lengths now. Not compressed, compressed. And this coax is ready to go, guys.